Hey guys, what's up? It's Xsuperst here, and today I'll be reacting to episode 6 of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayats. And so far, their love story is shaping up pretty nicely. I wouldn't say that they're close to dating or going out with each other because they haven't even... I mean, they haven't, they haven't gotten to the point yet where both of them... Well, okay. No, they probably both have feelings for each other, right? I think it's pretty obvious. But I think it's too early because we need to have development from Ichikawa side first before, I think, at the very least. I mean, they can go out, but they're, I think they're young. They're a bit too young for that. They're still in junior high. They're probably, what, 13, 14, around that age, or 14, 15. I think it's a bit too early, but just having, just being able to share these experiences and encounters with one another, I think is enough to give them a solid foundation in for the future when they do go out, if they do go out. Uh, although I'm really just rooting for them. I'm hoping that they do get together. Anyway, let's get into it. This is episode six of Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu. Let's go. Hey guys, before we continue with the reaction, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and click on the notification bell so that you won't miss any new uploads. And with that, let's go back to the reaction. Okay, so we're continuing from the previous episode where they got split off from the rest of their group. うん。She's a very sensitive person, isn't she? She's probably crying because she felt like she did something wrong by not telling them about it. She feels like this is her fault, basically. He, and he should reassure her that it's not her fault. I think she was so happy. <laughs> they make a good couple, I think. I think everybody who's watching this anime, who has read the manga, can see quite clearly that they would make a good couple. Because they complement each other well. Uh, personality-wise, and just the way that they feed off of each other's energy, I think that's really important. And I think there's also mutual respect between them. So I think that's a good foundation for any kind of relationship. And, and obviously they have, they have an attraction toward each other. I mean, I think it's more than just the physical, but yeah. I think all of those are important factors, right? In deciding whom you are going to have a relationship, with whom you're going to have a relationship. Wow, the distance. 
It's pretty obvious that he's trying to distance himself from her. Yeah, I don't think anybody's. I, I don't think anybody is. I don't think anybody cares about anybody else in the train. Whether it's in Japan or in Korea. Or uh, Singapore. You know, those kinds of places. What happened? Oh, wait, so are they going somewhere else? <laughs> I thought Ichikawa was going to say something. Wait a minute, he's talking about home. <笑>今日は母さんに話してたんだよ。もう行かなきゃ。最近学校楽しそうだね。うん。おはよう。はい、おはよう。よもど、何やってんの?あ、ちょっと体育教師かよ。誰か思っているのか?僕には関係ないな
Although he already started it, though. So close. ま、<笑> いや。いや、どうだ。ことは知ってるか。ま、いいや。俺がこんなこと聞いたの誰にも言うなよ。お、お、お。しかし無謀だな。山田なんて。確かにな。でもさ。好きなんだから、しょうがなくね。そうだな
I get why Ichikawa is feeling that way. And Adachi really needs to grow up and learn how to be more mature. Even though that's a bit too much to ask, I think, at this point. But Ichikawa is being... Ichikawa is able to handle it, right? He's able to be mature about these things, even though there are still certain things that he needs to work on, but he was able to, at the very least, act maturely in those situations with regard to Yamada and with regard to how other people see her. So yeah, props to Ichikawa for this. I really do hope they get together. Now he got confused because of what Adachi said. No, you do. You like her. You actually like her in the pure sense. So he should just... What happened? <laughs> you do. <laughs> yeah. Apart from you and Hara and Kanzaki. <笑><笑><笑><笑> Okay, so it's a separate incident. She does, though. She does have another reason. Oh my gosh. <laughs><笑><笑><笑><笑><笑> Who is that? Who was that? Who is this?
あの今後お菓子は控えた方がいいと思うマジでこれでいいんだ終わりだ何もかもが。This should be a really obvious sign for him at this point, right? Oh, never mind. It was him. That was a really good episode. Ah, wow. I think that was a very big step for their relationship. Also, if you. I guess a lot of the other characters are noticing, but. Ichikawa is coming out of his shell, I think. He's getting out of his comfort zone. He's speaking for himself a lot more. He's becoming a little bit more comfortable around other people as well, although mostly around Yamada. So. Yeah, I really like their dynamic. And I think it's pretty obvious at this point to anybody who's watching that both of them have feelings for each other. We can only see Ichikawa's thoughts, or we can only hear his thoughts because he's narrating them to us. But I feel like the author of this story. Was able to make it a little bit more obvious, I think, that Yamada likes Ichikawa through her actions because she's, she's like an open book, right? She's pretty obvious. So, yeah, that was a really good episode. I think Ichikawa might just be in denial, but at some point, it will be very difficult to deny or ignore. The signs that Yamada is giving him. Okay, so what other. What else happened in this episode? Because for me, the highlight was basically the moment when Ichikawa tried to protect Yamada from being caught snacking in the library. We got to have a conversation.、Uh, Ichikawa had a conversation with Adachi again. And. Adachi confesses to him or admits to him that he likes Yamada, but it's very superficial, right? It's only on the surface. Meanwhile, Ichikawa actually likes her for much more than that on a deeper level. So, yeah, not much really happened. Not much else happened, but the moments that we were able to get from this episode are just so immense and so significant, I think, especially with regard to the progression of their. Love story. That's why I think that really stood out in my mind. Now, with this episode, with this show, Boku no Kokoro no Yabayatsu, I think it what it's able to do is make every episode memorable. Or at the very least, make the most out of each episode. Not all anime shows are able to do that, right? And especially for a slice of life romance rom com anime, I feel more invested the more that I watch through this show. And I think that's just speaks volumes of how great the writing is, how great the direction is, and even the 
uh, acting, uh, the voice, the voice acting. It's really good. I hope it continues to just get better and better until we get to the end of the first season and then move on to the next season, which is currently airing. But maybe when this video comes up, it's already finished. But anyway, yeah, I really like this episode. I really like their journey so far. I, I like this anime. Yeah, I, I just want to see more of it. I'm excited to see more of it. And I want to see how their story builds up and how it ends or how it progresses. How What's going to happen in the next one? Anyway, so yeah, that was a really great episode. I thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you guys for watching until the end of this video. Click here to subscribe and check out these two videos for more fun content. See you in the next one.